Hey y'all, it's Sandy with Little House on Metairie. If you are new here, I just wanted to welcome you. And if you are coming back to visit my channel again, thank you so much. I am in my car today and I am ready to go thrift shopping to see what I can find to decorate for the upcoming fall season. And I wanna take you guys along with me. So we're gonna go and just check out a couple of thrift stores. I had already did a thrift haul. This is gonna be my second thrift haul before I start my decorating series. And I wanna take you guys along with me. So let's get to shopping. So we are at our first stop of the day. I have not been to this store yet. So we are coming shop together here for the first time. I first noticed these beautiful doors as you walked in. I love these kind of doors. To me, they look so pretty in a new build or a home that you are renovating, adding to a pantry or a bathroom. Next, they had a room filled with tons of jewelry, lots of costumes, some vintage, and then they had these beautiful purses as well. I thought they had a wonderful uh, display of these. So let's go in and see if we can find anything that I can use to decorate for fall. I first noticed this beautiful basket. Um, they, they do have a lot of beautiful vintage and antiques here. She did say that all of the prices were 50% off unless it said firm on the ticket price. I just wanted to show you all the beautiful display of bathroom items here. There was so much to choose from. Of this cute little basket it was just a little pricey for what i'm looking for and i'm always on the lookout for cute rocking horses for christmas i wanted to show you guys next this display of vintage toys there was so many uh, pieces in here that just brought me back to my childhood i found these really pretty candlesticks i loved the colors they reminded me of fall they also had these really cute baskets that would be so precious to decorate with for fall, especially with some apples. And I can see just all kind of cute uh, items to decorate using these. I spotted this really cute wheelbarrow. I thought that would be so cute with some pumpkins inside of it. But unfortunately, it was not for sale. It's so hot, so we are glad to be back inside in the air conditioning. The first thing I spotted in this room were these beautiful gold lanterns. I love to decorate with gold for Christmas, so I thought these would be beautiful in my living room. But we're not here for Christmas, so I hope I can come back another day and they still have these beauties. I thought these were so pretty. I loved the patterns on each of them. They each had something different. Unfortunately, I needed six and there was only five of them. Some beautiful dinnerware and I saw this basket and I thought how gorgeous that would be on the center of a table all decorated with things fall for a beautiful fall tablescape it was high up so I did not get to see the price on it though fell in love with this cute basket how adorable is this and then next to it they had this really old bandage shoot i have never seen one of these i'm just guessing it was for bandages in an old hospital so i just wanted to show you guys how cool this was so i am so glad we stopped by this shop if we ever do a remodel there are some really great pieces here that uh, we could use for that but for now we are focusing on fall decor so let's go to the next shop and see what we can find there I love this pitcher and it has six glasses. So I considered getting this for my table setting this year, but we'll see, this is a huge store and they have so much in here. So 
We'll just have to see what I end up taking home. I saw this really uh, pretty butter churn. It caught my eye. I'm guessing that's what it is. I think it's to churn butter. So here is this cute plate that I saw. There was only one. And then they had this really cute picture as well. Also love this cake plate. I thought it was such a beautiful piece for fall. I also thought these were really cute, but I have so much of this style decor. I think I'm gonna have to pass on these, but I wanted to show you guys how precious they were. I also thought this set would be really cute for a tablescape for fall. I loved these mugs. They each represented a time in history. Could have stayed here all day checking each piece out but it's a big store and it's hot so let's move on we're finding so many great treasures in here we both spotted this adorable bear figurine that we could decorate with for fall or thanksgiving i love bears i used to collect them i think it, they're so cute especially to use in a children's room we also both spotted this adorable little ornament we actually left up our christmas trees the past two years so we do decorate them seasonally so i thought that this would be a great addition to the tree how beautiful are these plates displayed for fall i loved the gold edges around them This pumpkin was cute. Somebody had painted it. It was shiny at one time and they painted it a more muted matte color, which was genius. You get when you're out and about thrift shopping and you find something that's not exactly your style, you can always DIY and change it up for the right price. So I'm so sad. I was going to buy this adorable mouse for Christmas. I could not pass it up and chance it not being here when I come back. But my daughter's shoelaces were untied and I stepped on them and she almost fell. So I had to catch her and sacrifice this cute mouse. The store owner was so sweet and kind. I apologized and told her I had full intentions of buying it, but she was not concerned about that at all and said it happens often. <laughs> So fun to browse around the different shelves in this store. They had such a wide variety of pumpkin options. I spotted this beauty and knew it would match a lantern that I recently picked up for my very first Shop With Me thrift haul for fall, guys. So if you haven't had a chance to check that video out, I'll put it right here. I was so excited. I found another precious little bear with pumpkins. had a wonderful selection of these leaf uh, trays of many different sizes and colors. Loved the colors in this picture. It reminded me of the beautiful colors of fall. Just wanted to show y'all how precious these little pilgrim 
figurines are. So I was teaching my daughter that these rotary phones existed back in the day and she thought they were so cool. Bye, Next time I have to teach her how to hang those phones up properly. We had so much fun in this corner of the store going through all of these really cool vintage pieces. They had some old toys and some old high chairs absolutely love this tin plate it reminds me of the beautiful colors of fall cute little mirror caught my eye. I thought it was acorns in the front of it, but it was two little owls. And then this beautiful light that lit up, it had some leaves on the outside of it. And on the inside, you plugged it in and it lit up with Christmas uh, style lighting. I thought that was very cute. And then I saw this set, it's a, a pitcher, and then it has a little salsa uh, bowl at the top to match. But I thought how beautiful this would be just to display kitchen utensils or even an arrangement inside of it. I also spotted this precious little pumpkin sign. I uh, am a sucker for these guys, but I'm putting it back. But I did like how it had uh, the white option and the traditional orange with the gold accents. So I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. They have a whole Christmas section. So I'm excited to come back here and browse for my upcoming Christmas haul. They also had a wide selection of books. So anytime I go into a store, I like to browse the book section to see if there's any seasonal reading or any seasonal books that would match with my decor. A beautiful display of milk glass. And then they also had this cute uh, wooden barrel and this rocking chair that was similar to one that we had growing up. So the owner of this store was telling me that they had this vase that mimicked the uranium glass, but I believe they said it was made out of Vaseline. So that was interesting. If you did not watch my very first haul, I ran into a store that had some uranium glass that glowed when you shined a light on it, similar to this one. So I thought that was so cool seeing the different pieces made out of different material. also had this cute little cornucopia it has this little wicker handle as well so that you can either display it on a table or even hang it with some festive fruit or flowers daughter reenacted sleeping beauty with this amazing spinning wheel we thought it was so cool and wish we could have brought it home with us we also spotted these vintage typewriters we could only imagine what was typed on those just wanted to give you guys a peek over here of this amazing display of cookie jars. They have so many great finds in here and it's a big store so we'll be back but I'm excited to get home and show you guys what all we got today. Okay friends we're back home and I had a very successful shopping trip. I found so many great things that I could use to do my decorating for the upcoming fall season. So without further ado, let's hop right into it and get started. The first place that we stopped at was a local shop called Melanie LaFleur's. I only got one uh, pair of candlesticks from there, but I thought they were so beautiful that I could not pass them up. Just wanna give you guys a closer look. They have these beautiful uh, fall tone colors and it's just made for like a, a taper candle. So I got the pair for $25. Left to decorate with candles, so I could not pass this up. I left the colors. I'm not really into birds <laughs> too much. So if you notice, I'm not even sure what kind of bird this is. Some of you may know. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But I just thought that this was so pretty for fall. Okay, y'all, so the next store that I went to was a local uh, flea market. They recently had uh, changed owners, 
and I got to talk with her a lot. I noticed there was a difference in the store when I walked in. I had been there a couple of times, but to me they had a lot more um, home decor and holiday decorating items to choose from, as well as um, antiques and vintage items. So it was called the Pinhook Flea Market. So I was so excited with their variety of things that they had and great prices and very friendly people. So I'm definitely gonna go back. So I found so many things from there. I'm gonna try to categorize them for different rooms if possible. So the first thing I'm gonna start showing you guys is a couple of items that I picked up for my coffee treat board that I'm gonna be doing for the fall season. So first was this beautiful glass pumpkin. I think this was um, $12. It has a beautiful, just it's clear and it has the little pumpkin um, top on it right there. And I just thought it'd be real pretty to display um, some kind of cookies or some kind of fall treats inside of it for the treat bar. Next for the treat bar, I bought these cute little pumpkin bowls. I thought they were perfect for um, putting some candy in it or some kind of um, items for the treat bar. But these were $5 a piece. They had some that had like a dark, the darker veining and some that were lighter. So I tried to get uh, two of each for those. Next, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on the treat bar or possibly in our living room, but this I thought was cute. It was a $12 turkey, but you can put things inside of it like candy or coasters. There's a lot of things that this could be used for. So we'll have to see, so come back and check out my Decorate With Me videos to see where this cute turkey ends up. I think it was for my kitchen. It's not necessarily for the treat bar, but I thought this was so cute. It says, Happy Harvest and this was $14, and then they had the little wooden set that was a dollar, so I could not beat that for $15. I have a cute way to display these uh, kitchen utensils. So next for the kitchen, I bought this beautiful table runner. My husband, I have to give him kudos, he's the one who actually found this for me. And I'm not really big into uh, sunflowers, but I loved the colors, and it's got a little bit of golden uh, specks in it. Well, actually a lot now that I'm seeing it in, the, in more light, but I am going to be decorating my living room with golden tones. If you watch my previous videos, I like to bring in gold accents in there. So I thought, and my kitchen is kind of open to my living room, so I wanted to bring in some gold tones in my kitchen also. And then I also bought this. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I'm thinking I'm going to put it above. Um, we have a ledge above our sink in our kitchen. And I love it. This was $16 and it says the season of blossoms by Sunshine Biscuits Incorporated. But I just loved the scene. It could be a spring scene, but it also reminded me of fall. I incorporate this for fall and spring, so it's versatile. I like pieces that's versatile. Next thing I bought were baskets. I love baskets. I love incorporating baskets in my decorating. So this one was $3 and to me it reminded me of just a cute harvest basket. There's so many uses that I could use this for to decorate with. And then I also picked this one up, which I thought was unique. This one was uh, $3. Yeah, $3 also. And this one had some little fall leaves on each side. And the handle is uh, gold. So I thought it would match definitely in my living room decor. Next thing I saw was this cute cornucopia. I liked that it has a little hook. So the wicker hook also, so you can place it on top of a table or hang it up. Uh, seasonal fall fruits, or you can even do um, a floral arrangement in it. But this was $6, so I could not pass that up. And next, I'm always on the lookout for cheap, inexpensive florals. So this was $8, a little pricey, but I did love the muted uh, greens and orange and that's hard to find this time of year. They have usually a lot of bright colors. So I like to do a little bit more muted colors. So this will definitely end up either in my living room, my bedroom or my kitchen. So next we found these cute pumpkins. This one was $8, but it's very heavy and very well made. And this one was, I believe it, this one was um, $3. So both of them can hold tea light candles. This can actually even hold a um, votive candle. So these will be really easy to do a DIY just by spray painting. 
So depending on which room I'm gonna put them in, I'm probably gonna DIY them. I like to be very selective with uh, the different pumpkins for the different rooms. And this I thought would be really pretty for my bedroom. In my bedroom I have cream colors, so I thought that this would be really cute in there. So this is probably where this one's gonna end up. And I think this one was $6. For the living room, I picked this beautiful vase up. This was $18, it was a little pricey too, but I loved the brown tones in it. And it's just, it's a vase, so I can put a flower arrangement in it or just keep the top on, shelf styling with. But I thought this was really pretty and I loved the colors. Next pumpkin I got was Bless Our Home and this was $6 and it had the uh, brown and the yellowish gold color. I hope the camera's picking it up, but I thought it was really cute and has cute uh, leaf details on it. So I think this will go really good in my living room. Next, I bought this beautiful glass pumpkin. It was $14. I know I've seen these in a couple of stores. Um, so I thought it was a good price because I want to say I've seen them more expensive than $14 for this size, but I loved the yellow and the brown again. Uh, color tones in it. So it's going to match perfectly in the living room. Staying true to the yellow and brown colors. I saw this for $8. I don't need another one, um, but I could not pass this one up because it just matched the color so perfectly. So it's just a leaf where you can lay it on a table and you can put either some decorative balls or some pine cones. There's so many things that you can put inside of it. So it's a real versatile piece. And I again, I, like I said, I loved the colors in it. Oh, I forgot to show this for the kitchen. I'm kind of jumping out of order, but I forgot to show you guys these. These were $12 for both, but I loved them. They're, they're cute salt and pepper shakers, so I could not pass these up. I thought they were just absolutely adorable. The next thing that I got was for my porch outside, and they just had this simple sign, welcome to our home. It was six dollars um probably could have got it cheaper but it's very well made it's a lot thicker than like the dollar tree signs and being it's going to be on my porch um in the elements i thought it was worth uh, paying six dollars for <clears throat> because of how thick and more durable it was it'll last longer not sure if it's going to go on the porch yet but my husband spotted this cutie she was seven dollars i thought it was so unique with the little ponytails I love the details and her little outfit was just precious. So she had to come home. Not sure where she's going to end up, but couldn't pass her. So out. I saw these leaves. They were um, $3 regular price and they were $2 each. So I thought this would be cute just to use uh, to style shelves or I may even like lay them on top of some books that I bought that I'm going to show you in a little bit. But these I thought were really cute. They do have the glitter um, gold tone, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that but I'm definitely gonna paint these and DIY them somehow. So I'm always on the lookout for books when I go to these thrift stores. These were $5 a piece, but they were in great condition, and I love to find the different uh, books that match colors for decorating for the different seasons. So this I thought was so pretty to display for fall. So this book also had really great colors for displaying on my shelves for fall. This was the last one, it just has this really deep, rich, a cranberry color but I loved uh, the old the older the better to me the more character it brings to my home so even well-loved books I'm fine with the next few items I bought for our family room we have a living room that's a little bit more formal and then we have a family room where we do homeschool at watch family movies and play games but we also hang out there more as a family so I like to style in that room very kid-friendly laid back and just fun so bought a few things for that room. I'm sure that's where these are gonna end up. This cute boy with a turkey, he's riding a turkey. He was $12, but I thought he was just so precious. When I see teddy bears, I like to get them for the different holidays. So this was $2. It was regular $3, but I got it for $2. And then the next two things was another cute teddy bear. He was $3, so a lot smaller, but it's very heavy and well-made. Um, I'm not even sure sure if y'all can see but I love the details on him. The last thing I want to show you guys was this cute ornament. Um, this was two dollars. 
I can't wait to decorate my fall tree with this cute guy. So the next thing I got were these candlesticks. They are the type to hold a pillar candle. I like to use LED candles, so this would be perfect for it. So the pair, for the pair, it was $12, but it also had those gold, yellow, brown tones that'll match in my living room so well. I have been on the lookout for a pot to use for simmering recipes for the different holidays. I love to do that to make my home smell like the holiday season that we are in. And I thought this was absolutely perfect. And for $15, it was a good price. Hey friends, that is my fall haul. And I cannot wait to start putting these cute items to use and doing my fall video series. And I cannot wait to take you guys along with me as I decorate for the upcoming fall season. Please, if you have not already done so, like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and the notification button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Until next time, friends, bye for now.